1996, we formed Seniors Against Federal Extravagance. We were very concerned, very, very concerned about the debt at that time. And we were also very concerned that Congress was failing to prepare for the retirement of the baby boomers. They weren't doing their job. You gotcha. <laughs> we realized that you younger people were also concerned about the future. Recently, we decided to, be, to become more inclusive and we've changed our name. Our name is now Secure America's Future Economy. Yeah. We invite you to join us. We encourage you to join us. We hope you will join us. So, check out our website. <laughs> Check out our website. <laughs> we were concerned about government overspending over 10 years ago, and we've been working on it ever since. I think we lost so far. we got to do something about that. Uh, it's gotten much worse. This reckless overspending is, uh, brings really a serious risk of severe uh, problems, severe inflation. Congress is tromping all over the Constitution. Yeah. Yeah. They jump in with both feet to do something, when what they're doing can prolong the recession and lead us into a depression. Now give me 30 seconds for a real short uh, piece of history, very pertinent to where we are now. 1920, 21 was a huge Depression. It was very serious. There was 17% unemployment. Commerce Secretary Herbert Hoover tried to get President Harding to do something. But Harding was reluctant. In fact, it took a little too long because before they could do something, it was all over. The free market had solved the problem. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Unemployment dropped from 17% to 7% uh, uh, in 1922 and less than 3% in 1923 without government intervention. We should encourage the government to let the economy adjust itself. There are a couple of ways that Congress can do something worthwhile without piling debt on our children and grandchildren. First, uh, one way is to review government regulations with the idea of eliminating as many as possible so business can really get down to business and we can have more jobs. Another way is to get rid of the clunky old income tax. Yeah. Yeah. It is a drag on the economy. A simpler tax would bring back business that's gone to overseas to come back here with jobs. Thank you for listening to this old guy who joins you in caring about the future. Thank you.